How much benefits did you give out in 2014? 78 billion. Is that correct? Correct, Mr. President. Correct. How much went to the private sector, Mr. President? More than 60% went to the private sector. Correct. Correct. And only 40% went to the public sector. And that is precisely why we are unable to modernize our public hospitals. Why can't we reverse that? And 60% should go to public hospitals at the very least if our intention is to modernize our public health care system. It's not. It's not, been it's not accredited to suit the private hospitals. How many public hospitals are there? There are 895 public hospitals. How many are DOH retained? There are 71. How many LGU owned? 777. How many districts? 622. How many provincial? 69. How many cities? 9. How many municipalities? 77. You know, I'd like to point out also, you may hear up, hindi pumupunta sa si pribadong hospital yan. Yung mahirap, ang unang pupuntahan yan, public hospital. Especially sa kanayunan sa probinsya. Hindi pupunta ng pribado yan, takot pumasok sa pribado yan. Ha? You are tailor-fitting it, feel it, for them to go to private hospitals because that's where the racket is. We've had hearings here in the Senate in that um, eye center the eye controversy. Center, yes the cataract controversy, and clearly, they're all private. Yes, Mr. And President. And the way you design the program as far as the cataracts are concerned is to benefit these people. That's how the program was designed. So the similar things happen also not only on cataract. Why don't you design the program that two-thirds should go to public hospitals so that we can modernize our public hospitals? Uh, and only one-third so PhilHealth should go to private hospitals. Uh, right now, they are equipping the uh, DOH, uh, the, the health centers, the hospitals, mm -hmm. to be PhilHealth accredited so that they okay. can access PhilHealth funds. Okay, let Once me go to they that. can access PhilHealth mm -hmm. funds, okay. then uh, there will be a reversal of the trend. Okay, let me go to that, Mr. President, if you want to get to that debate. There are level one hospitals, level two, and level three. Yes, Mr. President. Okay. How much did the government get from level three hospitals? Mr. President. <laughs> so level three hospital government, 10.8 billion. Okay, tayo dun. The private sector, level three, 10.7. So 50-50 at least. Okay. Pag level one hospital naman, yung private 10.1, ang government 9.1 lang. <coughs> Ang problema, tingin ko, nasa level 2. Ang private, 15.6 billion yung binigay natin. Sa so, gobyerno, 4.9 lang. This is one area that we can improve immediately. Yung Health Facilities Enhancement Program, how much is it for 2016? 26.9, yes. Okay. And then may breakdown niya, barangay, rural, public, specialty, so on and so forth. What was it? Uh, 4 billion appropriated, they're, all, they're only obligated 3.5. In 2011, 7.1, they obligated 5.8. Iba yung disbursement, ha? Iba pa yung disbursement. In 2012, 8 billion, they only obligated 4.6. 2013, 7.9, they obligated uh, 7.7. In 2014, 13.8 billion, they only obligated 6.6. 6. In 2015, current year, it's 13.3 billion, you only spent 337 million. If you total all of this, we have appropriated so much for the health enhancement, pero hindi naman ginagastos. And then next year, we will double it to 27. But in 2015, it is 13.3 billion. We obligated only 337 million. Uh, Mr. President, yes. Uh, yung sa 2015, uh -huh. mababa yung utilization dahil may COA findings. So they stopped muna to r and rectify the COA findings. Uh -huh. But the numbers are correct, isn't it so? And but then there is we an want explanation, Mr. President. I know. You already mentioned COA. Yep. 
Mr. But what, how will it change the money in 2016? You were appropriating 27 billion. Now, I know you will have problems with COA because walang standard in the way you plan out this health enhancement program. As I already mentioned earlier, with PhilHealth, with this program, one is demand side, the other is the supply side. Correct, Mr. President. You have to look at them together. Right? Secretary, and I don't blame Secretary Garin, no? Because she inherited this mess and she inherited this problem. And we need to approve, help you approve the budget uh, with the caveat that at the appropriate time, I will introduce an amendment so that there is a more equal sharing of this health enhancement program. Between private and the public? No, only for no. public. This only is for only public. for the public. No, only for public. <laughs> This is only for public. This is to upgrade our hospitals to improve the supply side. Okay. And uh, again, I suppose that the people in the field health should really study what they're doing with field health. Sayang naman, we're spending all this money. Uh, we're pouring in another 48 billion this year. A big part of that is for indigents. And a big part of what should benefit the indigents, we are not releasing as I mentioned already earlier. Huh? The default is, if you are a Filipino, magkasakit ka, pumunta ka sa public hospital, dapat yung presumption may health insurance ka, dapat tulungan ka ng gobyerno because 88% na rin naman eh, ang covered eh, as admitted by you. Pinagmamalaki rin natin yan sa SONA. You don't seem to believe that we covered 88%. I believe it's 100%. Oh. And that's why I'm saying, hindi na kailangan ng health insurance card. Mag may sakit ka, pumasa ko sa hospital sa publiko, automatic you should be treated. That's what I'm saying. Yes, Mr. And then at the same time, to improve our public health institutions, i-reverse natin yung sistema. Two-thirds should go to public hospital so that we can upgrade our facilities. And one third only in the private. We're in agreement, Mr. President. Yeah, so thank you for that. So at the appropriate time, as far as the health enhancement, we will introduce an <laughs> amendment. Alimbawa, why not just give every simplified lang to? There are 700 plus district hospitals. Ito naman yung unang pinupunta ng may sakit eh. Yes, the district hospitals. Why not give them, let's say, 10 million each? Magkano lang yun? That's just 7 billion. But then, boom, Pilipinas, natulungan mo. That will go a long way. Rather than, kayo-kayo ang gumawa, magkakakawa problem, ang dami pang problema, and then yung binibigay ninyo, hindi naman kailangan sa baba. One final note. How much do you spend on drugs and medicines? On? From what I have, in 2015, it was 7.8 billion. In 2016, it's 9.9. Is that correct? It's roughly 9.9 .9 billion for drugs and medicines and vaccines. Uh, drugs and medicine, 16.6. All in all, 16.6? Yes, Mr. President. Including vaccines. Including vaccines. I know it's much less than that. Uh, kasama na dito, Mr. President, cancer drugs, maintenance medicines. Yung sa ordinaryo para sa mga pasyente, magkano lahat yun? Anyway, we can do that, uh, Mr. President. We can do that even after. Yes, Mr. President. Just uh, to work with you on this, uh, to get that actual amount. Huh? I, I just wanted to make a point here that I think we're spending very little on drugs and medicines from the data I have. And if I were to put the RH budget, magkano yung total RH mo? 3.7. Diba? Roughly 3.7. Last year, your drugs and medicines was 7.8 lang eh. So, kung 3.7, kalahati nasa reproductive health. Kalahati lang para sa ibang sakit. Parang ganun lumalabak. I just wanted to put that. Not that I'm against reproductive health. Ah. I mean, I voted in favor with amendment. I'm just saying that if you're spending only 7.8 for drugs and medicines from the data I have, 
it would appear that 50% you're spending on reproductive health. Okay, that's all I wanted to point out as well. No? So with that, uh, Mr. President, uh, I thank the sponsor of the budget for working with me on this issue and for uh, answering the questions very honestly. And uh, I thank, thank the, uh, my distinguished colleague, Mr. President, for his insightful uh, analysis.